Welcome to CNU TV, the official TV station of the Captain's Log. Throughout the upcoming semester, we'll be bringing you the scoop as to what's going on on campus. We know you want to hear the latest news, so we're here to fill you in along the way. Hi, I'm Cassie Vench, and I'm the sports editor of The Captain's Log, as well as producer and anchor of CNU TV sports segment, Overtime. This semester, we plan on taking overtime to a whole nother level by bringing you more athlete interviews, post-game coverage of your favorite sports, fresh new debates, as well as asking you, the students, how you feel about various issues surrounding the sports world. Let's take a look at some CNU teams that never fail to get the blood pumping and the fans on their feet. CNU ice hockey team has a score to settle after finishing their last season with 10 wins, 10 losses, and 2 ties. Despite the fact that forwards Bryce Evason, Brian Bowser, and Ryan Dove scored a combined 55 goals on the season. Another fan favorite is football, as students, teachers, and parents packed Momoko Stadium on Saturday afternoons. Even though the captains had only 5 wins last season, two of those victories came in dramatic overtime fashion, getting the crowd into the game like never before. During the 2010 season, some must-see games include the home opener on September 14th against Wesley College, as well as homecoming weekend October 30th as the captains take on Ferrum. So be sure to come out and show your CNU pride. Thanks, Cassie. Sports are a crucial part of the CNU experience. I'm Seth Wagner, executive producer for CNU TV and multimedia editor for the Captain's Log. I'll also be producing our arts and entertainment show called The Scoop. This semester on The Scoop, we'll be bringing you the latest on what's hot, what's not, and what's just plain entertaining. On top of that, we'll have the highlights of many of the major performances on campus. Here's a look at what Theater CNU has to offer over the next few months. Look out for a very unique season from Theater CNU. The always entertaining performances will begin in the fall with the production of Enchanted April from the novel by Elizabeth von Armin. Following that in November will be the second show of the year entitled Comic Potential. Auditions will be held in August, so head over to the theater department for details. Make sure you stick around this spring for Theater CNU's annual dance concert and performances of Greek Tragedy, a workshop production, and Gilbert and Sullivan's classic HMS Pinafore. From October to March of next year, there will be plenty to see and experience at the Ferguson Center for the Arts. CNU is notorious for excellent theatrical performances, so be sure not to miss any of the upcoming events. If you would like more information about Theater CNU, interested students should attend the annual meeting on August 24th at 5 p.m. in the Ferguson Rehearsal Hall. I'm Seth Wagoner for CNU TV. For more information about upcoming events, be sure to check out the articles in the most recent issues of the Captain's Log. Hey CNU, my name is Victoria Shirley and I'm the producer of CNU News and the editor-in-chief of the Captain's Log. CNU News is our news show that covers campus events, campus incidents such as fires and other breaking news, and investigative research. This year we will be adding a new segment that will be called CNU News on Your Side and we'll be investigating issues that students are concerned about. Now here is a package that you would normally see in a CNU News show. It's about the construction that is going on on campus right now and what campus may look like in the year 2014. The first thing that the incoming freshmen will notice on CNU's campus is all of this construction. While the former CNU students of the past five years have had to deal with this construction, the class of 2014 may be the first class that will be able to reap the full benefits of all of this development. The incoming freshman class will witness the completion of 11 construction projects in just four years. Construction has been non-stop since 1998 and students within the past decade have seen the destruction and construction of many main buildings and facilities on campus. According to Executive Vice President Bill Brower, this next phase of development consists of 14 construction projects slated to be fully completed by 2015. The Integrated Science Center and the expansion of the Freeman Center are the only construction projects that are currently underway. 
Overall, the class of 2014 will see many construction projects started and completed during their tenure at CNU. This incoming class will graduate from a campus that looks vastly different from the one they first stepped foot on as freshmen. For CNU News, I'm Victoria Shirley. Looks like it's going to be a great semester, especially for all those incoming freshmen. Be sure to tune in for the latest episodes of Overtime, The Scoop, and CNU News. I hope you're as excited as we are. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to read all of the weekly issues of the Captain's Log on the newsstands every Wednesday.